Here's a 2014 three horse elite with an outback conversion. Hay rack, three drops on the rump. We do have the other simulator. This is um, an as is, as it is right now. We haven't run it through the shop yet, so you can buy it this way. You could buy it with us um, having run it through the shop, um, or you can buy it. Um, the generator currently isn't working, so we can either add a generator if you'll use one, or we can leave it off. Our exterior speakers, that's a two-step awning. Fabric looks really good, just needs a wash. Spare tire. Hydraulic jack. Two 20-pound propane tanks. Two batteries uh, in an aluminum battery box. Extra lights on the nose. I can't tell if that that um, emblem is cracking a little bit. It almost looks like it's supposed to be like that, but I think it is um, cracking just a little bit. Escape door, six foot hay rack, exterior load lights, drops and bars on the head wall. It's a full stud divider in the front stall, flow through bars, ceiling is not insulated, it does have roof vents, breast bar, mats look good all through the trailer and the pads do too. This trailer has two manger doors with two mangers, Just some plywood here to have some extra storage space above it. Manger storage there. Ladder for your hay rack. These tires are newer tires. There are extra tires in here um, that they re switched out but still kept because they're still nice. Um, there is currently a kick mark in this rear load door right here, and a mark there, and also a mark here. Rear load lights. This divider can come back and still be able to load horses in and out. Um, flow through bars, like I said, and then there's a look at the mats. They're all in really great shape. The rear tack is collapsible. Uh, it does have rubber at the bottom to help keep shavings out two brush boxes and then you have bridle hooks swing out blanket bar three tier uh, removable saddle rack and we'll take a quick peek inside there is a walkthrough door from the horse compartment uh, to the living quarters and there are uh, double hooks on this trailer as well high and low if you want to tie your hay bags high the extruded aluminum looks pretty good. It doesn't look brand new, but it looks good. We just uh, washed it. We just came back from a wash. Um, so, looks pretty good. It is a used trailer though, so it does have some marks on it. This floor plan has a, a fold-out sofa bed and then a chair in the corner with storage below. Also storage here. Two nice steps to get up into the nose. Mattress is nice and clean. Nice storage above the sofa. There's a light under there as well. There's a light also here at the kitchen sink. Microwave, two burner cooktop. Three drawers and then storage, nice storage below. The, stink, the sink too, two spots, a shelf and a, and a spot on the floor. There's not a TV currently in this trailer. Like I said, we could add one. There are two hat racks. And then that upper cabinet is if you want to put a DVD player. It has that glass front, so you could use that. This 
cabinet, which you probably can't see very well, it has hanging space where you can put some little cubbies in there. Fridge and freezer. Fridge is missing a couple. Um, it's missing one of the baskets at the bottom and one of the, um, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> baskets on the door, trays on the door. There's the word. Bathroom, nice sink, vanity, there's your walkthrough door. Does have a fan, roof vent, nice hanging space in this cabinet. It's a full length cabinet. You could really put some stuff on the bottom and then have your hanging above. There's lots of room in there. There's also a sky dome above the shower. This trailer has been winterized. You can see some antifreeze there. And sky dome above the shower. AC is ducted. And the furnace is ducted. So there's kind of a shot from the, the back of the trailer up. Nice clean trailer. Lots of nice extras. There's a shot from the back to the front. Just has a nice usable layout.